I've done this is because it's Cervical Cancer Prevention Week. I've actually talked quite a lot about my cervix on this channel before, just, you know, proportionally, based on how much other people probably talk about cervixes on their channel. I've talked a lot. That is mainly because I was one of the people who was just horrified by the idea of going for a cervical screening. I always felt a lot of embarrassment and shame about my vulva and I just did not want to get it out. But then I actually had some health issues which meant that I did have to get it out and I had to get it out quite a few people. And even though I got thrown in at the deep end, I now think that was really helpful. Going for a smear test just doesn't feel like a big deal. And if you told me that a few years ago, I'd have been like, what, you're crazy. I'm gonna hit you with some stats before I show you the footage. One in four British people who are invited for cervical screenings skip them. And people under 35 are the most most likely group to ignore the letter from their GP. Studies show that a lot of people don't want to go for the reasons I didn't, because they're embarrassed. And a lot of people also believe that they don't have to go if they feel healthy. But it is very important to go to your cervical screening. And now, here I am, getting my smear test. This is the room where I'm going to get smeared. Uh, I don't know if that's the word that you use, um, but obviously it will look different depending on where you get your smear test done. So this is a GP's office, it's a very nice GP's office. Got a bed here that I will sprawl upon and we've got a sink and uh, you will be asked if you would like a chaperone. I do not want a chaperone today, I'm going to do it all by myself. I am here in the room with Dr. Claudia. So we've had a chat about your past survival smear history mm -hmm. and um, we've heard a talk about what investigations it is you've heard before and when the first day of your last period was as well and if you're happy to go ahead and you said you wouldn't like a chaperone then we'll get you on the bed so you need to take off everything from below the waist down so now i will go behind the magic curtain a la wizard of oz and i will take my clothes off from the waist down, except my skirt. So you've had cervical screening before, haven't mm -hmm. you? You've had a smear test before. Yeah. So you know that we use a speculum, which is yes. this plastic yep. bit of equipment. Mm -hmm. So this part is only the very front bit that goes inside. So if you can cool. see, it's just that, but it's not the whole thing <laughs> at all, okay? I mean, thank God. <laughs> and then what happens is we gently press to open it a little bit so yep. that we can find the neck of your womb, mm -hmm. or the cervix inside your vagina. Mm -hmm. And then we literally take this little brush, this little plastic brush, and we rotate it just against your cervix five times. And it can feel a little bit tickly, but it shouldn't feel uncomfortable. So if at any point when we're doing this, you're in any pain or you want me to stop, let me know. But generally, it's a very well tolerated, comfortable procedure. This and feels like yoga. <laughs> and much like yoga, just imagine relaxing as much as you can. Okay. Deep, slow breaths in and out. I am relaxing. Is it sometimes hard to find the cervix? It is a little bit sometimes. Is mine hiding? Wiggle around a little bit. <laughs> so yours is hiding a little bit at the moment, but I can see it, it's coming now. It's shy. It's a shy cervix. You all right? Yeah, all yeah. good. We've got it. Excellent. And now we just pop the brush in. So this bit might feel a little bit strange. And that's it. It's done. And that's the end of it. <gasps> So you should have your results back with you by letter within two weeks. The 93% of smear results are completely normal and the smear tests don't look for cancer, it's for pre-cancer actually. So it looks at any early changes and if we catch those early, we're able to treat them before it becomes cancer. So it's really important to attend survival screening. So it's great you've come. Yay! <laughs> As you can probably tell from that footage, it was very quick and very chill. I know that people find it different levels of uncomfortable for various reasons, I don't find it too bad, but yeah, it shouldn't be painful. It's over so quickly, and now that I've been a couple of times, I honestly don't feel embarrassed. I don't look forward to it, but I know it's important for my health. I know they look at a million vulvas a day, so they are not going to be taken aback by whatever you've got going on. Smear tests are free on the NHS and for Babylon's GP at hand patients. If you have a cervix and you're over 25 and you haven't been screened, or if it's been three years or more since your last screening, call your GP now and make an appointment or write a note for tomorrow to make sure you do it then. I had mine with a Babylon doctor because you can get evening and weekend appointments at Babylon GP at hand clinics, but you can get the test done at any GP but just please, please go get your smear test. For me, it's all I want. That's not true. I want a pony. Bye.